This is an update on MULN, Mullen Automotive Incorporation, a company that technology sector software infrastructure. We have this primary symmetrical triangle pattern off the primary uptrend line here off the March reactionary lows with multiple and continuous reactionary lows to help validate that. And really what has happened is uh, we had that false breakout off this, uh, I've added this now new secondary benefit of the doubt primary uh, secondary downtrend line here off the uh, December 2021 reactionary highs, multiple and continuous reactionary highs to help validate that. And really what's new too is uh, I added this dollar price support with multiple, if we zoom in, especially on Friday, this, I would have loved to see a solid, because this thing trends in each direction uh, with massive moves, this is what you would have liked to see in a solid red candle close for at least a good 12% drop off the snap of this uh, primary uptrend line here. That would have been a sell signal, a definitive sell signal, especially when you're closing below that dollar support coinciding with the March gap. And if you zoom in in here, we'll zoom in here at that dollar range. That's a one, two, three, four, five reactionary lows here off that dollar price support and uh, coinciding with 15 here in the 15 minute interval. Zooming in really closely here, each kind of representing 15 minutes. Uh, zooming in on that 15, 50 hour, 50, 50, 15 minute moving average here. And we've knocked it to the button. Anything's possible. We could stair step to uh, regun and test that dollar price range, but anything's possible. We do have a uh, MACD and oscillator here on the 15 minute up to the zero line resistances on both momentum indicators. So anything's possible. We could uh, stir step, but that is such a solid uh, every single time uh, dip buyers stepped into and, and heavily defended that dollar price range. If if, if we would have broken it with conviction conviction uh, on Friday and, and had a solid close below, I think that spells a sell signal. And, and really on Monday, if you're bullish on this stock, hey, this is where you want to buy. You want to buy right here, right now. This is where the dip buyers and bull traders need to step in. If we have a continuation bearish uh, drop on Monday, coinciding with the uh, taking out these previous lows. And we undercut the 90 cent lows there off that uh, off July, off the end of June. Then what's going to happen is we're going to have these, uh, especially with the both the MACD and oscillator uh, hugging its zero line resistance on a complete flat line in momentum indicators, which indicates that this stock is really starting to slow down in its progress. And if we snap that, we'll have confirmed on Monday, we'll have confirmed negative RSI divergence with MACD and oscillator divergences on all three indicators and uh, spell for that's definitely spell for sell signal. Again, key pivotal inflection point. This is the biggest inflection point Mullen's been in quite some time in months. We have not seen a, an inflection point anywhere remotely close here on the charts that comes down to Mullen here on the daily interval. And this is it. This is where you have this head and shoulder looking top here. This is your right shoulder. And we could see a huge meltdown to the up downside. Hey, if you're bullish, you believe Mullen's going to the upside, you set some stops below this previous low, if not uh, a little bit below, this thing trends in each direction and spit fires in each direction because it's a penny stock. It's going to move really quickly in direction. So you have to have those wide range stops uh, there uh, to, to at least gun for a hit that to, to, to gun on a breakout. And bull traders want to see a breakout of the secondary downtrend line uh, recovering its 50 day moving, coinciding with a recovery of its 50 day moving average on most likely a breakout. And that would spell for a, a definitely a big, big move in my opinion, my opinion, up there to that uh, dollar sixty nine price resistance for thirty eight percent in gains or more, uh, because really you'll have a lot of shorts squeezed out. There's got to be shorts, a lot of ton packed shorts salivating in the mouth here for a breakdown below that dollar price range. And bull traders are trying to defend this heavily gated wall as best as they can. So if I see more skips in the charts, I'll keep you updated.